Hello, hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you a very simple but a very delicious recipe and they can say that this is basically food for the gladiators. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with roasting some beautiful uh, tomatoes. Now is a good time to go get them. Uh, I buy them by the case because um, we do consume a lot of these tomatoes. Uh, but you could also freeze them. There's so many things you could do if you buy it in large quantities. But you do need a deep freezer or an extra freezer uh, to be able to keep them if you're going to store them that way. I keep them in the garage where it's nice and cool. And then when I need them, I have them. So we're going to start by roasting these tomatoes. Very simple. We cut these completely in half. And we place them in a cast iron pan or a, or a regular pan. And then we're going to just add a little bit of olive oil, some garlic, salt, pepper. And we're going to use this in our soup, which is going to be a bean and barley soup with some beautiful roasted tomatoes. Let's see, can I fit one more in there? Okay, we're going to shove that one there. And we're going to get a few more tomatoes to put in another tray. And that's how simple this really is. So you could do this ahead of time because we're going to add this to the soup later on. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of salt. I'm not sure if anybody has seen the movie that came out, um, The Game Changers. Uh, we watched it, and it really is a must to watch it. It shows you the benefits of eating a plant-based diet. And like I would say, this would be a meal for the gladiators, guys. So I'm going to cut some more tomatoes. I'm just going to slice some garlic on top. Just gonna push this over for now. And if you don't have fresh garlic, you can use a little bit of garlic salt. My dog is outside barking. I'm sure he's chasing a squirrel. He's a real hunter. What am I gonna do with that dog? He terrorizes the squirrels. You could even put the whole head of garlic and roast it that way. And then we'll add the garlic to the soup later on. My new toy. I gotta be careful because it really cuts. Okay, so I'm gonna make another tray just like this and it's gonna go into the oven. I put it in at 450 because I like them a little charred, especially for the soup. Uh, but do keep an eye on them. I'm going to put a timer uh, for 30 minutes. I'm going to check it. What you could also do is maybe lightly put some aluminum paper on top. And then on, once in a while you go and check and uncover it. But you want these cooked and a little charred on top. If you want, you could even make crosses on your tomatoes so they cook a little faster. Like I said, if you don't have fresh garlic, you could simply use um, garlic salt or garlic powder or even the granulars. Okay, I'll save that for later. Here we go. We have some more tomatoes. Um, if you have extra, you could always put them in the refrigerator 
and make a little bit of steamed rice, put some roasted tomatoes on top, and you're good to go as a meal. And everybody loves roasted tomatoes in our family, especially my husband. He could just make a meal just with roasted tomatoes and a baguette. There we go. And I have some garlic here. So, like I said, if you want, you can simply use a little bit of powdered garlic. It'll be just as good. Uh, rosemary, that's what I forgot. I'll put some on the other side, too. A little bit of rosemary. That's what happens when you're trying to do too many things in one time. Okay, I'm going to add some rosemary to the other one. And that's it, guys. A little bit of aluminum just to cover them. You want them to cook and not char right away. And if you have to, you could always... If you find your tomatoes are cooked but they're not charred enough, what you could do, always put it on grill later on at the end and they'll get nice and charred for you. So I'll see you in a bit when I make the soup. Hey guys, we are back. We're going to start off with uh, frying uh, some ingredients and then we're going to add uh, the other stuff. We're making like a stew almost, but if you want to make it more like a soup, um, so it's going to be a lot denser, but if you want to make it uh, like a soup, uh, use uh, one can of beans rather than two where I'm using two cans. But you want this to be a hearty, a hearty soup stew where you can eat it with a nice piece of bread and satisfy your belly and your body, of course. So we're going to start off with a little bit of olive oil. Okay, and to this, we are adding uh, one onion, pretty large onion, and a little bit of garlic that's crushed. Here we go. Our barley. We're using one and a third cup of barley. And we're going to get this nice and toasted on the stove. Just a little extra olive oil. Sorry. And we're just going to kind of toast this up, which makes the uh, the barley a little more nutty in flavor. Just going to get that going. And while that's happening, I am going to start chopping. Sorry, Erica. Erica, I've got my little helper here. Okay, so there is my beautiful sun-dried tomatoes, the ones I told you we eat got them nice and charred and we're going to cut these up and we're going to add this to the soup There we go. We're gonna cut these, cut those up. Okay. To this, we're gonna add some salt. I'm sure we're gonna probably have to add more later. We're gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Again, you could always add a little more later. We're going to keep the onion just a little more. And meanwhile, I'm going to cut the tomatoes in smaller pieces. 
small little pieces. Delicious. Okay, we're going to add our potatoes to it. And I've got two, uh, not super large, but not medium either, a little bigger than medium. Uh, just two potatoes. And two very large carrots. And now we're going to add our roasted tomato. There we go. There we go. That's four cups. We're going to get another four. Ooh, I got to cut that up. Didn't go through. But we will fix that problem. Here we go. I'm going to get another four cups of water. So that's eight cups in all. And taste it for, uh, for salt. If you want more salt, if you want more pepper. Definitely needs more salt. go and to this we're gonna add it's a mix of white and red kidney beans but I will add that a little later because uh, I want the barley to cook but I might even add a little more depending on how hearty I want my soup because I do have one and a third cup of barley in here so I'm just gonna let this cook as soon as it comes to a boil I'm gonna simmer it and I'm going to let it cook until everything cooks and the barley gets nice and swollen. And then I will add a few other ingredients at the very end uh, because our beans are already cooked. But I do want it to flavor the soup, so I'm going to add it before it is completely cooked. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, guys, I almost forgot uh, to mention we will be adding... Some frozen spinach. Um, my spinach is only frozen because when I buy large amounts, I don't want it to spoil. If I see that I won't be able to eat it on time, what I do is I freeze it. But very easy to use. We want to use quite a bit of it. So here it is. This is what I'm using. And uh, it's just going to go into the soup at the same time when I'm using, uh, when I'm putting my beans in. And remember, you know, like, you have to make your life as comfortable and as easy as you can for yourself. Um, like I said, if I see my vegetables are, um, I can't keep up eating the vegetables that I have, the fresh vegetables, uh, I don't think twice. I either dehydrate it or I throw it completely into the freezer. And then when I need it, I just cut a chunk and... I use it in my dishes just as good as if it was fresh so put these in for me Erica so I'll see you in a bit uh, if these defrost it's not the end of the world because it's gonna go into a hot pot anyhow um, but yeah I'll see you in a bit and uh, show you what this delicious soup is gonna look like but I'm gonna let that barley cook first and it's probably gonna take about 40 minutes I guess to cook that barley and then we're going to add those beans and the spinach and dinner is going to be ready so there you go it's come to a boil i will now lower this 
there we go I'm gonna put it on low and I'm gonna cover it and I'm going to I have it on low 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 there you go it's on low so I'm gonna cover it and it's gonna cook and bring that barley to life and then we will add the rest of our ingredients and if you don't want to use water you can use a broth you can use a mushroom broth uh, a vegan chicken broth uh, I've done this using my chicken base that I make uh, we ran out because my daughter puts it on everything we have to make a new batch so I'm just using water but delicious nonetheless I could put some mushroom powder which I probably will do uh, Eric you want to give me some mushroom uh, mushroom powder that's no different than um, making a mushroom broth for this recipe okay I'm gonna use about maybe let's see about a tablespoon of there we go about a tablespoon of mushroom powder and that's no different than having the mushroom powder would just give it that nice earthy taste remember if you don't like mushrooms you can use a veggie broth or simply use water and let the roasted tomatoes uh, flavor your soup so I'll see you in a bit guys okay guys uh, I already have it cooked for about 20 minutes I just want to show you how the barley is already coming uh, to life there it is it's nice and al dente at this point I don't mind eating it at this point but I will cook it a little longer and now I shall add my spinach well there you go so there goes my spinach and remember this is a very hearty soup but if you want um, like I said if you want a more stew like you can add extra beans to it and I'm gonna add my mixed beans that's about a jar right now and that's what the soup looks like and now I shall cover it again and there we go I shall cover it again and let it continue cooking for another 20 22 minutes I will be adding a little bit of liquid smoke here we go I use of course I always use my beautiful mesquite I love this flavor I will add just a drop of maple later on but for now I'm just gonna let it cook Oops, I'm gonna put the rest of that and like I said if you want a more thick like a stew like then I would say uh, add extra beans you could add up to two cans of beans if you want and if you want less beans more barley go ahead and add just instead of one and a third cup of barley you could go for one and a half to two cups of barley it really is up to you uh, I did use only eight cups of water but if I see it's getting too thick I will maybe just pour a little bit of water into the soup to dilute it a bit but that's how simple this is so I'll see you at the end and uh, yeah give it a try let me know what you think but I'll see you later on and I'll show you how I'm gonna serve this okay guys isn't she beautiful so what we're gonna do right now is yes believe it or not we're gonna add just a drizzle of maple syrup we're gonna add just a little more liquid smoke if I can remember where I put it here we go just a little more there we go so we've got our maple we've got extra liquid smoke and this soup is going to be ready in a few minutes I just wanted to marry those flavors all together and there is our beautiful barley and bean soup and if you guys haven't watched and I'm gonna give this movie a plug-in because I think it deserves it if you guys haven't watched the game changers uh, it's a must you should and I would say have any gladiators here we go food good enough for the gladiators well it's good enough for me so I'm gonna say thank you guys I love you all and guess what I'm gonna see you in my next video
For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.